Hey friends, I'm so excited for you guys to be here because as many of you guys know, we are in the process of trying to move to the new house and this is my in the house craft storage. Again, as many of you know, I've been crafting from inside for a little bit now and I bought this a while back on Amazon, this storage to kind of keep everything at bay and, you know, organized, but as you guys could see in the beginning clip, it was a mess. So I'm going to show you how to take that mess and turn it into something gorgeous like the clip I just showed using my Cricut Joy. And I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's hop in. And the first thing I need to do is just clear this off. I'm like going through all the things in here, showing you guys some things that like I never got to show you. And I'm just finding things that I forgot I had. See, that's the problem. Problem. All these boxes, those are the boxes I wanted to do that box video um, with, which I will still be doing, so stay tuned for that. I just don't know when. I have so many things planned for you guys, you just have no idea. I have a thrift haul video coming, and then they, and then a thrift flip. I have a Dollar Tree um, haul video, and then a DIY, so I'm trying to make like my hauls mean like okay this is what I got and then let me show you the next video what I DIY with that way you know it kind of makes sense <laughs> anyway once I was done like clearing off the top and getting that all organized then I started taking all the bins out and as you can see they are definitely not organized and my OCD was like going nuts you guys every time I opened one of these drawers I just shut it again because I just didn't even want to deal with it so that's why we are tackling it today you guys are going to help me because you guys give me the motivation to do this stuff you guys think I give you the motivation but you guys give me the motivation trust me because if I didn't have an audience who like wanted to see this stuff I would probably just want to not do it you know put it to the side longer but anyway as I'm rambling on um, in the video, um, I found all this Christmas stuff, which if you think about it, DIY Christmas comes really early, which is why I opted to leave it in this storage because you guys don't realize how quickly it comes for us here on YouTube. We have to start thinking about, you know, Christmas content in July. So when you guys are thinking about Christmas in July, we're planning out our content for the year, you know? So anyway, that was really no point to that. But that's the reason why I kept the, the holiday stuff in this um, storage bin. I'll also have this linked. I'll link it in the cards. Um, I do believe it was like 200 bucks at the time. It's super sturdy. It's really nice. You guys know they don't really make nice quality pieces anymore. So I was really surprised that this was really well made and it was really easy to put together as well. So once I got done um, organizing all the bins, then I move over kind of to this desk area. And as you can see, that's a mess as well. So the stuff in between my little storage container and the desk or storage, I don't know what you want to call that. But in between there, in between the desk um, is all that stuff. And I do end up clearing that out. But for the most part, that is a lot of stuff that needs to go to the new house. And I just really don't have a spot for it at the moment. So that stuff does stay. It's like my son's bedding for his new bed. And some signs from Dollar Tree that I'll use. And a sign that I messed up. Just some random stuff that, you know, needs to go. But I just don't really have a spot for it right now. So that's where it'll stay. <laughs> anyway, once I was done clearing that off, it felt so good to have a little spot to work on you know, work on things again. So I take out these labels from Dollar Tree. They come four in a pack. I love the shape of them. And I just measure them out width and height. That way, when I go to make my labels, if you haven't guessed, that's what we're doing. Um, I'll have exact measurements and you're going to see why in a minute. So anything you want to label, anything you want to personalize, make sure that you measure first before you go into design space. Next, I like to pull out my machine, get it all hooked up because sometimes I'm not very techy, you guys. So I have to like, you know, take a little bit to hook it up to my phone. Sometimes it does the Wi-Fi. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. 
like I said, I'm not very tech savvy, but this design space is super easy to use. So I know you guys can do it as well. So for those of you that are new to Cricut, I did just wanna give you guys a little intro to them. Cricut is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works with software called Design Space. You guys, I absolutely love Design Space. You'll see that here in just a minute. This is where you can create your project and browse from hundreds of images and fonts. Once you've created your design, Design Space will send it to your machine to cut. And I love the fact that I can use it from my phone. That's my favorite part. So what I do is I go to my home computer and I go to Design Space. Now you don't have to do this. You can design your things right on your phone, but I just find it much easier. I have a much bigger screen on my bigger computer and I feel blind half the time anyway. So I just find that this works much better. So I go to my home computer, I open Design Space, and I showed you guys they have fun little labels. Um, There's so many different things to choose from in Design Space, but I'm gonna make my own today. So I open up a new project and then I make a shape of a square. I unlock it in the left-hand corner and then up at the top, I resize it to the exact shape that I need. And then once I have all of my shapes done, so what I do is I just duplicate it and then I will resize it. So for all of the smaller tags that I needed for my storage container, there was eight of them. I only sized one square. And then in the right hand corner, underneath the big green where it says make it, you're gonna see duplicate. And I just duplicated that eight times. That way I knew I had the exact same size for all of them. And then it also took a lot of that work out for me. I didn't have to individually size every single one. Next, I add in my text. On the left hand column, you'll see text. You just click text, then you're gonna Find the font that you like. So the font that I like is Hello Bluebird Script. I did download I did download that off of defont.com. Um, so if you like it, you can go and download it for free as well. And once I had all of my words, you know, typed out and sized, then I go in and behind them I delete all of the squares. Now, yes, I see that the tiered tray decor is spelled wrong. I'm going to say that a million times because, yes, I realize these things and then I get a zillion comments like, did you see you spelled it wrong? <laughs> and I really appreciate that. But yes, I do see that I spelled it wrong. And I also deleted my glass for my, um, I'll show you guys here in a minute. You'll see what I'm talking about. But I did delete one of my words, which is okay. I'll go in later when I have the time and reprint it and I'll change the tiered tray spelling as well. So this is what I was talking about. This is another one of my favorite features about the Cricut Design Space. So I design all my stuff, I save it to my cloud, and then I go to my phone, I open Cricut Design Space, and in the menu, I open Projects in the Cloud. Then I follow the prompts on the screen, so I'll choose my project. I will hit Make It. Now, you'll see that I had a little, you see that I had a little um, like message that said, sorry, this font is not on your phone. I just hit okay. I hit done and it was totally fine. It printed anyway. So if you run into that issue, don't worry. Um, just hit okay and done and then it should print for you. Next, I just sent this to my Joy. So I hooked it up through Bluetooth. You have to hook up your machine through Bluetooth. Then you're gonna go back into Design Space, select the material that you're cutting, and then again, follow the prompts on the screen. This little Joy cuts pretty fast for how small it is. Um, if you guys don't know what the Cricut Joy is, this is absolutely hands down one of my favorite Cricut machines. It's cheap, it's portable, it's lightweight. You can cut up to 20 feet with the smart materials. Um, you can cut up to many, many different materials. You can make cards. I mean, literally the list goes on. And for me, I'm not a huge Cricut user. So the Cricut Joy does exactly what I need it to do. Although the bigger machines are really nice. I just find that the Joy is just really convenient. So once I am done cutting them out, then of course I pull out my light pad. I love it. 
on the screen before you pull it out it'll let you know to unload your vinyl and then once you unload it then i like to start by taking the corner of my vinyl and peeling all of that off so that i can see my words and then with the help of my cricut light pad i am able to see where i need to weed really easily now my favorite way to weed is you can see what i'm doing here i just kind of press the tip of my weeding tool into that vinyl and it kind of just sticks because it's pretty sharp now sometimes it does like to pop off and like you see here um, but for the most part i have a pretty good time just kind of sticking it in there and then it comes right off of my weeding tool i love how easy the smart vinyl weeds it's really really nice to have an easy weeding vinyl because if you guys have ever weeded vinyl that isn't easy to weed oh my goodness you're there forever so i definitely appreciate that Cricut's um, smart vinyl is very easy to weed now please don't do this you guys I did this way backwards I am editing this and I'm like girl what are you doing per usual <laughs> working backwards I just get so excited to like cut them apart and put them on that I don't even know what I'm doing so I should have put my transfer tape on top of the entire like whole piece and then cut them down but do as I say not as I do now as you can see here this has been a struggle of mine for a long time trying to figure out how to get the smart vinyl to easily come off of the backing sheet because this backing sheet is so thick that the vinyl just wants to stick to it so I cannot take credit for this idea I saw um, Whitney from whiskey and wit do this and she said that it works like a charm in her video I can link that video down below because that is where I saw this trick at but she just heated up the back of her smart vinyl and then it released so easily and you guys when I did this and you do have to continue to make sure that the edges of the letters are really stuck down good so don't like heat this up in the back and then think it's going to magically come up like you still have to make sure that the edges of the letters are still wanting to come up because if not it'll rip but the point is that this came up so much easier than it generally does. So go check her video out. She's way better at Cricut videos than I am. I, again, am not an everyday Cricut user. I love my Cricut so much. But, you know, I am a busy, busy mama. So when I have the time to use my Cricut, I love to use it. But a lot of times I don't have much time. But anyway, for projects like this, again, I love my Cricut. So um, for labeling, like I said, card making, there's so many different things that this Cricut Joy is amazing for. I also love it for this. Like, look how easy this went on, this Dollar Tree lid. Now, this was a candy dish, but how cute is it with these little blocks in there? You can find so many fun things at Dollar Tree to personalize for your crafts, like stash. Look at these beads. These are Dollar Tree jars. Like, can you even believe that that's a Dollar Tree jar? I honestly cannot. Um, this looks like something you would pick up at a high-end store like, you know, Hobby Lobby or I don't know. But they definitely look much higher end than Walmart or <laughs> than Dollar Tree. And they are a really good size as well. And then I also wanted to show you, if you make a little mistake and rip your letter, just you know stick it down as best as you can and then you can go back in with your weeding tool and kind of move that around and then stick it down so it's not a lost cause if you do rip it just take your time do your best to get it down there and then fix it once you're done now the last thing to do well the last few things to do were to attach all of these little labels I just took these wicker baskets and there's kind of like slits in them where the weaving was. So I just fed my jute between there and tied them all down. And then for the ones in the plastic bins, hot glue pops off of plastic really easily. So I just glued those down. And then obviously for the glass jars, I put those up for display. And look how cute this is, you guys. 
I absolutely love the way that this turned out. My plan is to put this in the shed once we move, but we'll see. Hopefully it works out that way. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these little labels. Um, I, like I said, I absolutely love them so much. And I just appreciate you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you Cricut for supporting my channel as well and sponsoring today's video. You know, it's really hard. To stay afloat sometimes but you know with your guys' support and with sponsor sponsorships it really helps out so anyway you guys with all that being said don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if nobody has told you today you are absolutely stunning and gorgeous you are worthy and i love you with all my heart and soul and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.